Hey guys, Jesse with the Upbeat Canine. I just wanted to do a quick video on one of the most important tools we have as a dog trainer, and that's a muzzle. Whether we're socializing dogs that aren't okay with people and other dogs, or we're doing some different sports that require a muzzle as part of the obedience, uh, we have a whole process that we go through to teach a dog how to wear a muzzle and how to be comfortable with the muzzle and what it looks like when you're in there. So I'm going to show the beginning steps on uh, how to get a dog putting their nose in, getting comfortable. We do a lot of food stuff. And then I'll show you when we use it around other dogs and socialization. And when I use it in obedience with my dog Delaney, who does French Ring Sport, and she has to do a whole feeling pattern off leash with a muzzle on. So you get to see both of those. Uh, for a lot of our muzzle work, I like the Baskerville muzzle because they can eat and drink out of them. They're very adjustable. And when I'm teaching it, I'm teaching it with food, I can feed right through here with the treats, which is super helpful. So check it out. So for my sport dogs like Delaney, that I'm going to teach a retrieve to, I teach her the command hold. With hold, she has to let me put her muzzle in my hand and then I reward for putting her muzzle in there. So now I'm gonna hold the muzzle in my hand the same way I hold my hand for the hold command. From here, I'm going to reward her when her nose is inside the muzzle and then when I release her, I'm gonna pull the muzzle off and reward her there as well. Then we're going to transition into her wearing the muzzle with the strap over her head and getting rewarded for having her nose in there and being calm, as well as rewarding her when I take the muzzle off. I want to make sure that she's relaxed when I take the muzzle off and not freaking out to get it off. And now we have Hera, who is dog aggressive. So we're teaching her the same thing, only because she's not doing any sports with me and learning the retrieve, I'm going to go right to feeding her in the muzzle. So just like with Delaney, I'm going to reward her for having her nose inside the muzzle without the strap at first till she gets comfortable. Then I'm going to raise my expectations to her wearing the muzzle with the strap over her head. I'm going to feed her with the muzzle on and when I take the muzzle off. Now that Hera is relaxed and calm with the muzzle on, I can start socializing her with other dogs without her freaking out about wearing the muzzle. This helps when we want dog aggressive dogs or dog reactive dogs to get close socialization to other dogs yet keep everybody safe. Hera can also receive treats through her muzzle, which is why we use this basket type. Now that Delaney is okay with the muzzle, I can put it on her and go into my healing pattern and I expect her to heal the same way she would without the muzzle as if it's not there. I'm still gonna reward her for having the muzzle on and I'm also gonna reward her when I take the muzzle off. This is a time in the beginning that I would feed while I'm healing with the muzzle on through the front of the muzzle. All right, so that's the muzzle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see all the videos that we do. Our Upbeat TV, Ask the Trainer. We talked to some vets, all that kind of great stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Jesse with the Upbeat Canine. I just wanted to do a quick video on one of the most important tools we have as a dog trainer, and that's a muzzle. Whether we're socializing dogs that aren't okay with people and other dogs, or we're doing some different sports that require a muzzle as part of